All right. Hey there, everybody. I think we got this guy finished. This is the upgraded JC Penny 6238 AM only base station. We've upgraded this guy with new modern guts out of a Cobra 148. It is now a sideband radio and AM with a built in frequency counter. I'm going to say this is comparable to a Cobra 2000. All right, we're going to give an on air test today. Kind of show, show this guy off. All right, let's get some power. All right, see the counter light up. Really nice frequency counter in there. There's all the knobs and whatnot, a couple meters. These meters are a little different. They are a bit on the small side, but they're, as you can see there, they're upside down type meters, a little different. All right, let's get some volume on here. You guys should be able to hear that. You can probably hear the static in there. We get some local static in my neighborhood, so got the a and wired up for this. Oh, listen to that. Take that right out. There's a noise blanker too. Alright, so I don't hear anybody out there, but we're going to key it up anyway. I got the old Delta 2 mic hooked up to it. You'll be able to see this guy switch over to transmit, and I've turned the SWR meter. See if that will focus in there a little better. Anyway, yeah, you know how these things are. Okay, here we go. Test. Check, check, check. Audio test. This is the audio test, JC Penny. 6238. That doesn't sound like anybody's around today at this moment. Get some good skip in yesterday. Now, I'll real quickly go around to some of the other radios. Here's my old Sparkomatic sideband radio I modified. Up here we have a, yeah, that's the Air Command. Now here's a pretty cool radio. This is a T-Berry Twin T. Yeah, look at this guy. It's pretty old. But it's a sideband radio that was 23 channels. Well, it's now a 40 channel radio. Same thing with this Midland radio. Pretty cool radio, but it's updated now to 40 channels. You know, you got a sideband radio, it's got to have 40 channels or, or more, right? Down below is my grandstand. This is the FM radio. Not sure if we have some power here, but let's give it a shot. No. And real quick, maybe you'll see some of my other nice radios here. These guys are all sweet ones. This is the ones that we like to keep. Oh, this guy's just a beaut. Let's see if we can get the power on this guy. Oh yeah. 23 channel radio and I've Upgraded it with a frequency counter. What do we got down here? Uh, this is my uh, amplifier setup. Kind of got about 400 watts I push out on this sometimes. Dual meters there to show input output type stuff. Uh, there's my Anytone 5555 five, 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 Nancy. Probably the best radio, really, for everything. A couple of unusual rigs down here. And we'll swing over here to some real sweet stuff. Okay, we got a stoner. Yeah, let's see. We got some power on a stoner? Let's see here. Oh, what do you know? The stoner powers up. Here's an old Centurion. Same thing I do. I rip out those little clocks. I put a frequency counter in the Centurion 40 Delta. Love this radio. This is like my favorite all-time chassis first generation D858. Down below over there is an ARF scanning radio, you know, 2001. Very unique. And down here, my most modern radio. Not sure it has any power. Oh, what do you know it does? <laughs> yeah, I don't use this radio too much. Eh, you know, obviously I like that old stuff. 
Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. 73s from Bruce.